As ProTech grows and its market penetration in the snow industry gets deeper, we have turned to new markets and industries in which our products have similar value to that in the snow industry. The first of these markets has been the agricultural market. As a stable industry, agricultural use has been a new and promising market for the pusher. Most effective in areas of ag that deal with moving ethanol, manure, silage, grains and fertilizers, the Protec pusher moves materials and cleans surfaces much more efficiently than old standby methods. Originally I found out about Protec pushers, I was trying to find a better way to move corn. I brought the blade out here, put it on the machine, and I told the guys to use it for a couple weeks to see what they thought of it. So I came over to get check the blade out and the paint was wore off that we'd used it so much. The initial reaction to Protec pusher is efficiency and time saving. Uh, you know, in livestock, you're, you're, you're pushing manure, uh, you're, you're, instead of using a six-foot pass with your, your blade that you're using on your machine, you're doubling that sometimes. Uh, in grain handling facilities, pushing in flat storage, you're pushing into an auger that is unloading that to, into a grain truck, and your efficiency there is picked up just double too. And uh, the, more, the less hours that you can put on machine daily, uh, is uh, really uh, beneficial to the farmer because all your uh, trading nowadays is done by uh, hours. The ProTec pushers helped us quite a bit in, in the way we handle grain. We handle big volumes of grain in flat storage buildings, outside corn piles. We use the same machine, shift down a gear, tear up less stuff, and actually get more done. It's been a real cost savings to us from an efficiency standpoint. Uh, you know, you're putting men in these machines using these snow pushers and you're saving dollars because of time and hours that you're using this machine. Also, fuel. Fuel's, uh, you know, going up every day. So the less we can use our machines and the more efficient we can be again, uh, we're saving dollars in, in labor and in uh, fuel. So these are two real big factors that uh, everybody in the agriculture community and all, a lot of communities are, are thinking about. One of the features we weren't expecting with the pusher was that the fact that there's a rubber cutting edge on the pusher itself. We used to sweep all of our buildings and pads and things, and we don't have to do that anymore. We just sweep about 10% of what we used to around columns and little transitions and things like that, and the pusher cleans the rest of the floor off adequately for our job. The other thing is the blade itself is wide, and it keeps the corn out from underneath the wheels of our machine, so we don't grind the corn up into meal and things like that, so it actually makes our product takes care of our product a little bit better, a little gentler on our product than our front end loaders used to be. Previously, before we bought the pushers, we used to use just bigger front end loaders than we have now. Big, hunk, and just manhandled things instead of being a little bit more efficient. We use less fuel now. We used to use big front end loaders, narrow buckets, and we ground the corn up because we ran over so much more. We used to carry the corn in our front end loader buckets. Now we just take the corn and push it up in a pile. We don't have to tip the machine anymore, so it saves in our cycle time. We don't have to be running up there, dump the corn, come back, reset the bucket, and go again. It's just a push, it's a push operation. Presently, we have the pushers attached to these big front end loaders, the Komatsu front end loaders particularly, and these little Caterpillar front end loaders. We actually put the Caterpillar front end loaders inside of our grain storage structures, the big round columns that you see here at the plant. The big machines are used outside and in our big flat storage buildings. We currently own nine pushers. We use them in the grain business primarily. We also push snow with them. We're looking for a, a tent at this time. I certainly would recommend this snow pusher to our colleagues. In fact, I've recommended it to some of our competition. I work with the operation guys at the other plants, and they do similar things that we do, and I know that two of the competitions have bought the same blades that we use and are using them today. Well, farmers are very uh, diversified in their farming operations. Uh, first of all, a lot of them have livestock and grain both because you have to have grain for the livestock. So therefore, if you're uh, pushing silage or storing flat storage grain, these pushers can be used for uh, loading your silage piles uh, in the fall when you, when you cut your silage. They can be used for uh, you know, pushing your grain if you have flat storage in your pole barns. And it's very easy to go up to a farmer or a grain handling facility and talk to them about using a ProTech pusher. Uh, this again is all goes back to efficiency, economy and fuel, uh, and labor. So you're at saving money and you're putting less hours on machines, so therefore you're talking lots of savings uh, when you're talking year-round usage with ProTech. Another industry that is finding the snow pusher to be useful is the wastewater industry. 
counties, towns, and cities that use open lagoons for part of their wastewater and water reclamation treatment process have found the pusher to be useful in that operation. Currently, cities such as Chicago, Yonkers, and Hartford have incorporated pushers into their wastewater movement process. Outside of wastewater, the pusher is an insurance tool for municipalities in case of flooding or in instances of moving large amounts of water that they are currently using loaders or other heavy equipment to take care of.